What? I hit the record button. Oh shit! Sorry about that. Just uh, had a little something to eat. Okay, so I'm still eating. God. Still hiding. He's going to be the last guy I kill, I swear. And this is going to be like a lot of Jesus shit. Thanks for getting hit, bitch. And here comes Eric. Oh, he's going to give us an education. Ow. God damn it, Eliwood. Sarah out of trouble while I would uh, continue to strike down the arrow with all his might. God damn this video. I need to get more space on my hard drive. Well, I think I'm going to do that now so I won't sound like an idiot. Let's see, you guys, I'll be right back to get more space. By simply deleting a part of a video I uploaded, this is already going so much faster. It is beautiful. Now I can be ahead of what I'm doing. Alright. My commentary is not going to be shitty. Woo! Better on this, Hector. Thank you. This is a really good gum. It's not like... A some crust splash or something like that. Something ridiculous. It's a pirate scum. It's just him and Eric now. Bitch. That's really unfair how he gets a silver lance. It would be fair. Allow it getting a silver sword. So I guess the rapid arrow would actually do better than the silver sword at this rate. So now it's just waiting for the stupid pirate and doing other things. It'll grab a couple heal staffs. Or one, maybe not a couple. God damn it, that pirate's annoying. My bitch is about to be dead. I suppose I should explain the perks of having silver weapons. Silver weapons are definitely better than steel weapons in every single category. Well, this is the true throne of Lysia. Taste my lance. Taste my axe. I win. Anyway, silver weapons are indeed better in every single way. They always... They will have higher chance of attack. Because they're more accurate. Because they're lighter. And also, because they're lighter, you can dodge easier. And they do more damage. So really, they're exceptional weapons. I like how she's wearing like a green little vest. It's pretty funny. God damn it, that pirate's annoying. Come over and fight me, you bastard. You have enough HP. You know what I have to say to this pirate? This is what I have to say to this pirate. 
fuck you and die. Thought I was gonna go all out for a second? Well, guess what? No. Get up, you peasant. That was a nicety. You called us peasants. A fidel. What's that? Yep, and he's talking about laws ruling. Hmm. Interesting. From what Eric's saying, Alawood's father agreed to laws being the ruler and starting this rebellion against Ostia. Now, this, why that's such a problem is because these two are really great friends, Ferre and Ostia, as are Alawood and Hector, the two classes. Shut your mouth. See, those two are such good friends, they'll believe, they, he won't simply believe that, what's his face, uh, Elbert, would do such a thing. So that's where we stand right now. Yeah. See, so convincing in each other. I'll find him and prove his innocence. And so they go. Noble Lady of Kaylin. Hmm. Interesting. Now comes up the stupid map to tell us what we already know. However, explain it in a bit different detail. Which is kind of nice. This is a lot better of a map than other games such as, say, Path of Radiance. Which basically, literally word for word, says exactly what happened. Which is really retarded. So if I ever do a let's play of that, I would just skip the map if you really want me to, but... Or just like zoom through it. So you can see the destinations we're going. But that'll be a while before I do that, because I want to take a break from Fire Emblem after this Fire Emblem game. I know I'm definitely going to do uh, Sacred Stones, but that's also going to be later. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I said I was going to do two LPs on the side of this, but then I just did this. My other LP was going to be, f what was it, Pokemon uh, Fire Red. The only reason I wanted to do Fire Red so it was so I could get in Ekans. <laughs> that's the only reason. I don't know. <laughs> Not at all. Not in the least. Yep. See, there he goes. Funny little conversation. Castle Kaelin has fallen under a surprise attack. Under a surprise trap, if you will. So, what should we do? Well, take a guess what we're doing. We ride to their aid, of course we do. And look who it is! It's Lindenberger. And Ken. 50 soldiers. Jeez, he's bad at counting. There's only like maybe 25. So they decide to go back and attack. Back attack. Bam. Gets more interesting. Now I did mark ourselves a His castle will be off the left of his son Eric behind when he fled here. That's despicable. We banned his son. Yep, he did. Now Will, of course, comes in and he's just like, well, I'm partially a side character, so I don't really care. 
I'm just gonna talk random stuff. And of course, Florina wants to be the big bad uh, savior of them all and fly over and tell a lie where we are. But who cares? She's gonna fail at it anyway, won't she? Five bucks, she fails at it. Yes, you are. I never even leveled you up. You are definitely the weak fuller you used to be. I think you got one level up, so you might be level two. Mouse forceful. No, she has not. No, she has not. No, she has not. Yes, you were. And there's Barker. What a nice mustache. I want that mustache. Look at that. It's got like the Hitler stash going, like partially. And I in the sky, Florina comes over. And they're in the lead, there's Lywood. Where are their archers advancing? They're in it, something up high. A Pegasus Knight. And of course. Florina. Not sure how the archers were able to aim at her. I don't see any ballistas. Oh my god, she's dead. All right. I'll be right back. All right, I'm right back. And apparently, she's not dead, unfortunately. The archers just missed. Darn. And she's beyond the forest, apparently. Oh, and she's still alive. Lord Housen's been captured, however. Well, we got work to do. There's Barker. Wow, what a tool. He really is Hitler. They're no match for us. And now... Well, let's see what happens next time. Noble Lady of Kaelin.